Hey, I heard you guys that time. Nice. Hey, everyone. Welcome to episode 253 of the official podcast. We've always been here since the dawn of time. We have existed uh, time memoriam. So this is just another episode of that permanently. Um, exciting stuff this week. But first, I want to address uh, address the elephant in the room. Yes, I'm currently wearing a hat and it's 2 a.m. I should not be wearing a hat inside, but I am wearing a hat and I want to address the reason why. It's to keep the hair out of my eyes. So I don't want to hear any shit from chat or comments about why I'm wearing a hat. It's just a thing that we're going to have to deal with from this point forward. Thank you. Has this why don't you get a haircut? Thing? I could get a haircut, but I, I like... All right, so balding... Um, is a massive thing in my family. Like every, every man goes bald after like 20, 25 years. So I'm, I'm already like dancing on the edge of that. And I am, and I'm I, like, I am slowly losing my hair. So I'm trying to retain as much of it while I still can until it gets too bad. And then I'll, I'll just chop it all off sadly and never, never have hair again. Oh, well, I got sad. Sad yeah. for who? Yeah. Why are you guys sad about it? You. I'm the one that has to suffer. I, I, I don't want you. my beautiful Jackson to be bald. It's stupid. <laughs> well, I'm Can hoping we get that you a wig. I'm, yeah, well, yeah, just donate all of your hair to me. That'd be nice. Um, I'm hoping that like anti-hair aging technology uh, becomes a thing in the next ten years, and then I'll be able to go get stem cells on my hair or something and grow. Why it that not way. just wear wigs? Yeah, a wig like even. Implants. Well, I feel like wigs are no. only a thing for old people. No, no, no. I mean, like, cool cosplayer kind of wigs. You could have, like, anime Ooh. hair and shit. Wow, yeah. yeah. But no one actually, no one thinks that's oh, yeah. cool. No one thinks that's cool. Oh, I, think I don't understand why. Let's, let's take a vote right now. I would think it's cool. I would think it's cool. All you right. guys are the minority by far. People would laugh at you in the streets if you were honestly wearing that, like, not but ironically. But who cares about other people's opinions, Jackson? Hey, no, you, have, you seen, have you seen that guy who made his entire life around being Trunks from Dragon Ball Z? Yeah, that guy's cool. That guy is cool as fuck, and yet, like, he looks ridiculous. But he's well, awesome. You just said he looked ridiculous, so even you... In a good way. He, in the terms of conventional in fashion... And, <laughs> in, in the terms of conventional fashion and standards, he's a goofball. But, like, in terms of his self-confidence and his own self-image, he looks incredible. Also, just yeah, think about just all the like girls that are cosplaying on Twitter all the time and how people drool over them wearing wigs and stuff. That could be you now, Jackson. Yeah. But what's the difference between a wig and a hat at that point? It's just something Well, that's... because then you have hair with a wig and a hat. You, but it's like, fake just... hair. It's inauthentic. It's a fake hat. So what? You can't no, tell it's a the real difference hat. between... You can't tell it's the difference hat. between real and fake hair. Yes, you can. What? How? You absolutely can. No, not not modern <gasps> wigs and modern hair stuff. It's really good now. People yeah, always point out, like, it how on much what are you, you mean spending by modern? If you, you can't just buy, like, a $5 party wig from Amazon. <laughs> yeah, Jackson puts on fucking a clown <laughs> afro, and he's like, look, it's clearly fake. <laughs> <laughs> But I don't want to spend it like uh, I don't want to spend the equivalent of like a Ferrari on hair either, which is what I think it would cost to get something super realistic. Do you think so? The the only problem with like balding men is your head shape has to be perfect for you to pull off the bald look, like yeah. Jason Statham. Also, like, do you think you have that in I head? Have, or n uh, no, I probably no, I don't think so. Oh, I'd boy. also I'd also need to like hit the gym and, and bulk out a bit more because <laughs> those are the only people that look good with with no hair is so, just bold, uh, yeah. bold, strong people. Jackson, so it's going to suck, uh, but it's fine. I've, I've made a my peace with it. A treatment for hair transplants is from about four to $15,000. You That's easily affordable. You could save up for that. For what? No big deal. For a wig? For how much hair, hair, though? For a hair transplant, not a wig. Yeah, so hair transplants are getting kind of good. I've I've looked into that quite a bit. Um, yeah, they're getting better, but they're still not perfect. Like you can still tell that the person's meant to be bald. <laughs> what, what is wrong with you? No, you can't, Jackson. Yes, Jesus you Christ. can. Look no one up. is. No one is able to look at someone with hair and be like they're supposed to be bald. What do you mean? Does it like who, not Jeff Bezos? The, the, there was another like Elon Musk, right? Elon Musk had hair transplants, and you can still tell he was meant to be bald. Not really. He looks fine. Nah. His hair looks yes. fine. 
The only way I would okay, ever, but the only way I would ever see it for, I'm looking at some photos. The only way I would ever see it is if someone told me, like yeah. if I met a guy on the street and he had a hair transplants and no one said anything, I would never know. But if he was like, yeah, I had a hair transplant. I'd be like, oh, now I see it. Yeah, I Jackson would. shouldn't have said this on the show, idiot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess I screwed myself. Yeah, now episode. you can never get it. Danny, cut all that out. Hide it from the from the masses. Yeah, just cut the entire first bit of the episode out. Now we have nothing. Yeah, well, that's good for Elon, I guess. He, he, yeah, his hair does look all right. I can still tell that he was going to be bald if if he wasn't. <laughs> to be a fair. Yeah, I mean, he, he gets like that billion dollar hair transplant. I don't know if that's within your budget. Yeah, he's, he's probably got like Tesla rocket scientists working on the hair follicles, making sure <laughs> that they're aligned perfectly to his nervous system. I can't get that kind of shit. No. I have heard, I have heard of uh, like, because what they do with the hair follicles and stuff is they like, tra well, they transplant them from other parts of your bodies. And the only place on my body that is even remotely hairy is my asshole, like my ass region. And I don't want to yeah. transplant the stuff from down there. So you don't want I, some high quality ass hair? Yeah, no, I would rather not. Then do a wig. The Why wigs are, are you so you set on wigs? Wigs are they can, cool. They are cool. And you can constantly you know, change your hairstyle. You can go from like short punk rock hair to yeah. long heavy metal hair. You and can then also like hide business. stuff. You could hide stuff in them too, like snacks. You could just put it underneath the wig. It's like another pocket. Well, I don't think they come on and off that easily, but you, I guess you could. Wait, what? Wigs don't come off and on easily? You get them installed at like hair salons, Jackson. I mean, there's like the ones you get at Party City. I guess you can just slap on your head with tape if you want. Well, that sounds even more uncomfortable though, if they're actually like put on you permanently well, what, what, what's not permanent well, wouldn't you want that because if, if it's like a good hairstyle you like wouldn't you want it permanent anyway no because then other people will be able to tell that it's fake well it wouldn't be in that point because then it would be your permanent hair no one would know it's fake <laughs> wouldn't it be uncomfortable like it's weighing you down too it's something that's like attached to how you how heavy that's do not you think hair is <laughs> well, i don't well, know this can't be that much big. heavier than your hair uh than your hats right yeah, yeah it definitely would be could, heavier than your hat maybe you could, yeah instead you could just be the hats guy i guess if that's more comfortable i'm fine with wearing the beanie a hat. guy i like hats and beanies they're fine so why did you like bring this up at the beginning are there people in the comments bullying oh, you no. about the hat <laughs> no this is the first time i've ever oh. worn the hat on the episode and again it's not because i'm going oh. bald like i don't think it's like super visible at the moment or anything it's just it's it's genuinely just to keep the hair out of my eyes Then this was a very specific <laughs> tangent that, that you went on. <laughs> I, well, I bet it's, I bet it's, we can't see what he looks like, but I bet if we watch the episode, he's going to look ridiculous <laughs> with his hat, which is why he addressed it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous in the sense that you're wearing a hat inside at nighttime. That's, that's a bad. Yeah, imagine wearing ridiculous. something designed for outdoors inside at nighttime. You'd look so stupid. Oh, you Andrew's wearing sunglasses right, right now, aren't you? About? Yeah, oh. and I have been for years. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but you, yeah. you pull that look off. It looks cool. Oh, thank you. At le yeah, at least I'm not wearing a dumb hat. Like, then I'd be <laughs> embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, what can you do? Hey, do you guys <laughs> have any... Hat. Do you guys have any, uh, like, deep-seated fears about your genetic predisp predisposition? Like, anything that's going to happen oh, to your God. bodies with time? We're just going to rattle two. off the uh, depressing topics today, aren't we? Fine, I'll go first. Cancer. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, both my parents have had it. Good luck, me. Let's see how it goes. Is that... So, is there, like, a genetic disposition towards cancer? There is, yes. If your uh, parents or close relatives have it, you are disposed to it, depending on the type, but I'm pretty sure I'm in that pool. Yeah, but Andrew, so that's I'm going to be bold. fun. Yeah, yeah. Thank God, I only uh, I only might have cancer. At least I won't be bald. Oh, <laughs> I'd show well, to my chemotherapy with a full head of hair, and they'd be like, "Oh, you're losing it anyway." But at least you got to have it, you know. It wasn't a genetic thing, yeah. 
Yeah, it, it, it might grow back, right? Does yeah, I'll, hair have, grows it, I'll back have an after. excuse for my hair being gone. I won't have to be a loser and be like, oh, it, it just fell out naturally. <laughs> what is the evolutionary yeah, benefit when, for losing hair? Why, why is it a thing? It's in not the same. Hang on, hang on. No, you like people will look at somebody balding like, haha, bald man, fucking beta bitch. People will look at a guy who has cancer like, oh, I should better like fuck him. No, I say bald man, beta bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, wait, I don't, he, he had a comedy. He was bald. <laughs> I don't think. I don't. I also, I don't think people fuck people with cancer just because they have cancer. I don't think that's the thing, right? There's no pity fucking well, cancer it, patients. It, eh, I don't know. Well, I will say though, I, I, I also think the bald you... man beta bitch depends entirely on the man. Like, if you saw like the average fat oh, sloppy yeah. baldy man, then yeah, I'd be like, oh, what a. What a bald guy. That's unfortunate. But, for example, Bruce Willis. <laughs> what a bald uh, guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, for example, Bruce Willis, you see him and you're like, holy shit, what a man, you know? Yeah, but it's like when women say, oh, there's a lot of handsome bald men. And you go, no, it's there's just a lot of very rich and handsome men who yeah. happen to be bald also. Right. That you just look past it. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah, it's not the baldness it that's doing it. Yeah. I don't know. I guess you could get like a pity fuck. For, what is the age cutoff on the Make a Wish Foundation? <laughs> is it just for well, children? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I, it's I like really 16. Want like a, right? I want like an 82 year old man in the Make a Wish Foundation asking just unreasonable requests. Like, I want to meet JFK and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think hmm. it is you have to be under 18 for Make a Wish. I think it's 16. And I don't think you can request to fuck honestly. someone either, as your wish, if that's what you were getting at. It is a child between the ages of two and eighteen. They apply. Two? What? What the fuck is a two-year-old gonna wish for? Crayons, L lollipops, know. yeah. <laughs> can they even communicate at that age? It's like I'm hungry. Yeah. Okay. I they're they're pretty. Those are the easiest wishes to fulfill. Then you probably just wish to go home. <laughs> God, it's getting sad. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Jackson. They're not going to be bold. I'm the victim. Uh. Yeah, Andrew, boys, I'm what's trying, your... <laughs> I'm tired of you making this all about you and your stupid cancer well, predispositions. I was, I was literally in that sentence going to ask, boys, what's your genetic weakness? What's your yeah. thing that you're like, Boldness. oh, I, I lost the genetic lottery here? Well, I'm pretty short, unfortunately. That's what? fine. No. Just put yeah, on some I high like. heels high heels, and you're fine. I All try right. and keep it hidden from people, but unfortunately, the truth is I am on the shorter <laughs> side of things. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, so... Try to keep it hidden. Yeah, so with the with the boldness thing, Charlie, wouldn't you also be able to wear, like... What, what's the, what are the boots called that make you taller? Stacks Elevator shoes. Elevator shoes. Yeah, why don't you just do that, then? Because they look stupid, like with just hair. like wigs. <laughs> no, no, with what? with wigs, like there's not anything that's like there's no hair there to replace. But with shoes, it's replacing normal shoes with these very obviously like platformed boots. Yeah, yeah, but you, it, you can look like an anime character walk around then. this house with them on and sleep with them on. It's like well, <laughs> it's not going to matter when he's walking around like that. It, no one else like will be able to see his shortness then. That's just but they'll him. see the, they'll see the shoes and they'll be like, okay, he's clearly like walking around on these boxes, like yeah, but it, like, that's the same with the hair. Yeah, that's the same with the self confidence no and owning it, like the trunks guy. Yeah, like it's super different, Jackson. There's so many wigs that just look realistic. Like every movie, like they have wigs on the people, and you I'm would sure there's know, plenty of good. shoes that look realistic too. What, what do you mean? Like I'm what? Just, nah, <laughs> Wait, they, we they, they all look like. They look Has like regular been... shoes, but with fucking uh, hiking boot soles. Like, yeah, but, they do yeah, not look natural. Yeah, but so here's, here's what you do. You, you customize your entire wardrobe around that. You come out looking like an anime <laughs> protagonist, like super tall, handsome, like a leather jacket and shit, big boots on, and you look fine. You'll be at least like five foot eight. And then what? And then, then when I take them off, then, then they laugh at me. Yeah, yeah, but you take them, them off at home uh, when you're alone, <laughs> away from society. I can't take baby, the week off. Baby, our date was great and all, but I have a shocking secret to reveal to you when my shoes come <laughs> off. You become two inches shorter. Oh, <laughs> what if... <in> the face. <laughs> hmm. Charlie, has there been any developments in that 
like medical procedure where they break your legs and make them longer? Yeah, actually, someone, yeah, I took a photo. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, someone tweeted out something called like the stride nail. Where they, so they like break your femurs and something else and they put a nail in there and it apparently <laughs> heals much faster and is a lot safer or some shit. And it adds up to like six inches. Six inches? Yeah. Stride nail? Yeah, it's called like the stride nail. S-T-R-Y-D-E. I wish someone could break my skull and promote hair growth. <laughs> wow, this is uh, this is pretty things. funny. One of the one of the leading surgeons who does that procedure, he's taking fucking uh, before and after photos with his patients, and oh, like yeah. his patients, he re they reach like six feet tall or like five foot ten, like pretty good results. But yeah. the guy, the doctor, actually does the procedures only like five six. So <laughs> he's very yeah, he doesn't trust he's his very own procedure. clearly like he's very clearly like um, self confident and doesn't give a shit. But or, his patients do. <laughs> or maybe Andrew, he was like five foot one before that photo. Oh fuck, you're right. Uh, he did it to himself over the years. Shit. He escaped dwarfism by breaking his bones constantly. <laughs> that's how he figured out the secret. <laughs> yeah. No, that's super cool, though. Yeah. This this looks promising, Charlie. He got a 5'7 guy to go up to 5'10. Yeah, well, I saw one where he had a 5'3 guy go up to 5'8. Like, it, it, the results wow. are pretty crazy. And so apparently it's not that bad, like, the healing process and, like, the pain management isn't that bad, apparently. Yeah, I was going to ask. according to him? Or yeah, to the people also, that have it. It's oh. they break your femur, right, or something like that. They like, what? What do they do? Yeah, they literally break your femurs. That's like the <laughs> toughest bone to break in your body. Correct? I know. I, I can't imagine how is it's that not painful. Yeah, how is that not painful? I, I, no I guess. <laughs> I, I guess the power off. of being taller eventually like overcompensates your pain receptors, and you just don't feel it anymore because you have. And few extra inches. I can't, just walking off. Shit. Yeah, I can't imagine this is good long term though, because by th lengthening the femur, I imagine you're gonna have all kinds of fucking hip problems and like walking and movement problems as it continues to like heal. Yeah, but it's, like a it's, a yeah it's a trade off. It's a trade off. You'll this... live a longer, uh, like a shorter life, but you'll be happier for it. Yeah, this is a surgery I would not trust in any way. I would not at all feel like comfortable with this done to me. Yeah, like I know the other ones like like tibia and fibula. This one's femur, and I feel like the femur is the worst spot to do it in. Yeah, it's it's the toughest bone to break, which means it's also the most painful bone to break. I, I'm just waiting for CRISPR to get to a point where they can just reopen my growth plates and let me grow naturally. But... You then you run into that same issue as like growth pains when you were younger. You that's gonna be like excruciating oh, pain. Oh no! Oh ouch! I'm sore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember growing pains. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I just kind either. of grew. Like, I, what are you talking about, Jackson? Well, it was mostly when you were much younger. Does your body hurt growing. you? Yeah. Wait. Grow, don't gaslight me into believing my pains weren't real. Growing pains existed, right? They were really I don't show. remember any. The only sitcom. thing I remember hurting just because it was growing, I guess, was like my teeth, right? Because they knock your baby teeth out of the way. Yeah. But yeah. Oh. We're not made of teeth, Jackson. Yeah, well, I don't remember like lying there real, going, oof, ouch, my bone is growing. Yeah, it says such a way it hurts. Growing pains mm -hmm. definition. Soreness in a child's legs that occur often occurs at night. There I still go. get that. It's called restless leg syndrome. It's not necessarily growing pains. I had that the other night. I couldn't this fucking is... I couldn't sleep because my legs just were like sore and made me want to move them. So I turned on One Piece and fell right to sleep, baby. <laughs> that sounds like One Piece. Yep. <laughs> well, that is, when you when you went to watch recipe. One Piece, Charlie, did you happen to maybe maybe need to take a shortcut or two, a way around to get to watching it? Well, perhaps, yeah, I may need to yeah, take a shortcut. Yeah, I mean, a lot of you out there, well, uh, well, by shortcut, I mean maybe a, a portal to another country. God, that's maybe cool. Maybe a, a, a tunnel to to another world. Uh, well, what, what I'm referencing out there, in case you haven't picked up on my subtle lingo here, is ExpressVPN, because some of you out there are probably in different countries. You know, you might be 
Canadian. You might be Australian. You, you might be who? German. You might who? be American. You could be yeah. any sort of whatever. But you're not going to get access to every single bit of streaming content because copyright is stupid and dumb and outdated and basically moronic. But you can get around it with ExpressVPN. You can be a tough, big anime watching man like myself and the, the rest of the official boys by hopping on Japanese Netflix. They have so much anime that we don't. It is fucking crazy. <laughs> Or maybe you want the classics. You want the ones with Disney backing them. You want to watch a good American English dub. Well, UK Netflix has the Studio Ghibli films. Classics. Tons of them to pick from. There are tons of shows scattered all over the world that will reach your hidden potential for fun. For example, if you hang out with Jackson in the dumb land of Australia, you can watch the entirety of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air on Netflix, which is a great show and I highly recommend it. But ExpressVPN doesn't just do that. It's also compatible with all your devices, phones, laptops, smart TVs, etc. It will also change your location, of course, but it can also encrypt your data and let you surf the web safely and anonymously. You just got to go to expressvpn.com slash official to get three extra months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash official for three free months and the ability to watch anything from anywhere. Can they construct me a portal that takes me to a land where hair grows on trees? You can watch a show on how to not be bald. <laughs> I hope that exists. <laughs> I'll do yeah, it. It would probably make you feel better. <laughs> they should I'll do, do, they should do, do like hair a, exercises each night before I go to bed. They should do like a Discovery Channel documentary called like Life with Baldness. And they'll play like sad piano music while you walk around doing stuff. And they'll be like, Jackson might look like an ordinary man, but soon he'll be bald. It's no. a tragic it's a tragic story about how I yeah. had everything while I had hair and then yeah. I, when I got diagnosed with uh hairlessness I became like a homeless man <laughs> hairlessness <laughs> but it but it gets really motivating at the end as the music swells and you're like but you just got to keep moving forward you know I I understand that I'll be bald one day but it doesn't mean that I'm going to live a bald life you know and my life is going to be full after that of I get, hairs of enjoyment and then after immediately after that I get spat at by some teenagers <laughs> and kicked in the stomach yeah, and then it, it like slows down the footage and makes it monochrome, and it says Jackson died three weeks after <laughs> filming. <laughs> there was not enough no, honestly, uh, <laughs> protection on his skull to protect him from yeah. the blunt. He, blunt, he got uh, a terrible trauma. sunburn on the top of his head, and he couldn't prevent Aww. it. <laughs> you know, knowing your luck and knowing the shithole you live in, it'll like next month they'll pass some legislation making baldness illegal, and you're gonna have to pay a daily <laughs> fine. Twenty dollars a day. <laughs> baldness is like yeah. super common here for some reason. I, I feel like it's more Finding common here bald than bald people places. is super common in Australia. Boldness, bold. What is it? Boldness. Yeah, boldnessness. Uh, mm -hmm. Baldness. The, ama in the amount of bald people in Australia, Australia, is uh, pretty high. Okay, then you'll fit in. Yeah, I'm not, not worried about it. Plus, deal, when I eventually go bald, I'll be like thirty, so it's fine. It's fine. What are you trying to say? <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. Well, us thirty-year-olds <laughs> doesn't matter what we look like. That's how awful we look by default. You've got a beautiful head of hair on you. You should be happy. I, I think am, we should you. maybe, maybe one day. Maybe not now, but you know how we did the top ten most handsome men ever. We should do the top ten best bald men ever. I think that'd be okay. wholesome. Yeah, make yeah, them feel really good. They they've been kicked around enough in life, you know. Yeah, Number well, that, one that, is Jackson. Oh, <laughs> that would make me feel even worse knowing that I have to like get to the levels of the rock to be <laughs> desired. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, Jackson, you're only like number nine on my list. Oh, well, that's better yeah. than nothing. I mean, yeah, are yeah, you're not bald men who are known in movies and shit who are not buff. Yeah, that's what I mean. They I can't think of a single one. There's gotta uh, be. Isn't Kevin Smith kind of bald? No. Not Kevin Smith. Ke who's the fat Paul Blart guy? Kevin James. Kevin, Kevin James. James, but he's not bald. Yeah, he's he's bald every now and then. Is it by decision? 
Yeah, he shaves his head. He's I think right now he's bald in like his most recent stuff. Yeah, but he's also like a big oh, wow. guy. He's he's not like super. Oh yeah, he's, he's not bald. He's fat, but he's not like he, like that's what I mean. It, it works on people that are even fat because it's just like more frame. You look bigger. It's like an intimidating I, thing. Uh, I well and truly believe Jackson. It's confidence. If you don't care about the fact you're bald or go into it like accepting it, then it'll be fine. Yeah, like I said at the start, I've made my peace with my like genetic. And that's why you're wearing a hat. Out of being I'm self-conscious. Wearing, I'm wearing a hat to keep the hair <laughs> that I currently have out of my eyes. You All right, whatever you, whatever <laughs> you say. Yeah, uh-huh, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Very good. Yeah, that's right. That's what you're doing. And I wear these doing. sunglasses because I look cool and I'm totally not just insecure. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why do you wear the sunglasses again? A lot of reasons, actually. Uh, the primary being that I have terrible eye strain and computer monitors are really bright even on the lowest settings. Mm. So it just helps with that a lot. Yeah. So oh, it helps like me blue see. Light Fair. It's, it's super weird that um, they get, they found a cure for shortness and we still haven't found a cure for boldness yet though. <laughs> I find that incredibly frustrating. It's not really a cure I, for I, shortness. Yeah. It is. Not yet. It's more, Jackson's literally Nazi science in the modern day by an unscrupulous doctor. And by oh that definition, God. Jackson, we solved baldness with wigs. That's Jackson, a tool. Jackson, let's say you knew your baldness was coming. Like the hair by the day was falling out in clumps. It was the time was spiraling away from you. Would you kill a man to get his <laughs> hair? consequence free you would never go out to jail you would never like the family would never he has no family he's a drifter he's a nobody would you kill him to steal his hair permanently but i would just be wearing a wig then because i'd be stealing no, his it, it's, of- he's got your exact hair he matches perfectly but my exact hair is grows bald it. so he would have balding no, hair. no the hair you would have if you didn't go bald oh uh, okay so like yeah. my current hair um yes yeah you'll you'll grow it back by absorbing his life force, his yeah. hair force. Yeah, they'll put you in a Frankenstein type machine and they'll flip the switch and you, you'll you get like zapped with electricity on a little dome on your head and a dome on his head. And it'll like magically put the hair on your head. But he has to be dead for it to work. How do I know the person? Like, is he a convicted no. rapist or He's something? A random, like- he is a random stranger, but the only thing you can confirm is he has no one who will miss him or ask questions. Oh, that's pretty good. No one's going to ask questions. Yeah, you'll get away mm-hmm. with it. You so will get away with ending his life. Like, at this point, at this point he's just a lifeless hair sack to me. Like, he's just a walking hair vessel for me. He, but he, well, he doesn't want right. to die. He, he wants to keep his oh, hair. He, he wants beg? to live with his hair to be 100. Is he going to beg? Yeah, he's not sacrificing yeah. himself happily well, to you. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a, he's a drifter and a homeless man, but at the same time, he's got that beautiful head of hair. And he's like, oh, he's gonna I, I'm happy. Yeah, he might not have he's food or money, back. but he's like, as long as I've got hair, I could live forever. I could live for a million years like this. And he even Wait, says so it I, to you. He he signed, he thinks he's signing up for a procedure to help you like like cope with your hair loss because he's got beautiful hair, so he can motivate you. Hmm. So he's like, oh, Jackson, life with my hair is perfect. I'm so beautiful. How and would that wonderful. motivate me? But he's he's motivating you to kill him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like he wants to die. He's he's come to a desperate. He person. said multiple times he doesn't want to die. No, but no. In the act he's, of motivating me, he's pussy. living a fulfilling, happy life with his head of hair. He has nothing else in life but his hair, and he's how is he's it, great. How is it a fulfilling life for him if he's got no one who will know that he's gone? <laughs> because have you seen his hair? It's incredible. <laughs> you said it was my hair. No, no, no. I think I know your decision then. Oh, make it your hair. Okay, Jackson, how about this, Jackson? Would you join a I don't a competition to the death with like four hundred and fifty five other people if the oh, like prize <laughs> was a full head, head of hair? Would Sweet you learn to speak yeah. Korean to like, participate in this game? <laughs> and then would you let me dub you over with awful English? <laughs> oh, I love the, I love the dub of so that they, show they, so much. They just they just slip me a card with just like a a toupee symbol on it with a number on the back. <laughs> Jackson would be in the fucking Squid Game, and all these people have reasons for doing it, like their their fucking kidnapped parents or their dying mother. And they're like, "What are you in for, Jackson?" And he's like, "I need a new head of hair. 
I'm gonna win this game. He points to the ceiling and it's in the shape of like the Monopoly man's <laughs> mustache. <laughs> yeah, when the when the money falls into the piggy bank, his bundle of bills is just a fake mustache and hair piece. Well, no, wait, 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 come on. <laughs> Why don't just make it so like just hair follicles drop into the big ball in the middle of the room every time someone dies? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you I get like a whole that. bunch of bald men in there just all looking identical and just hair fills the fucking piggy bank. No, it fills a mold of a wig. Hair God. and hair products, just a bunch of shampoo <laughs> bottles. Yeah, and they, they start getting desperate, like, I haven't gotten a good shampoo in ages. Uh, so if Jackson, I was getting... in the middle of watching that show, right? Is that a comb? Yeah, oh, I'm God. Still, I'm still two episodes away from completing it, so I don't want to go into spoilers on this episode about mm -hmm. uh, Squid Game. But I will say, like, the first five... Ep this is spoiler-free. The first five episodes were extremely good very enjoyable yes mm -hmm. and then episode like i think it was six or seven where i was just like what the fuck happened what is this so, show that i'm watching it's seven yeah. so let me let me i won't spoil anything because i am i the only one here who finished it i finished watched it. all of it no i finished okay. it so <laughs> yeah so we we won't spoil it but do you two boys agree with me the final episode is terrible the whole uh, show is barely hanging on by a thread the final episode is terrible for one reason which ties in actually into our topic jackson and the final episode. Well, so, well, well, I don't want. I don't well, want spoilers. Wait, wait, wait. Are, you gonna, spoilers. are you gonna wait. spoil it? Fuck! How do I say this? Yeah, it I fits perfectly. Really Andrew knows what I'm saying. One of the very important characters. I'll just say that. I'm not telling you who. He decides he's gonna have a fucking midlife crisis and goes and gets his hair dyed pink and <laughs> in a haircut <laughs> of his stereotypical like forty year old soccer mom, and then just walks around like that. And I was watching this, and this happens in like literally the last minute of the show or last 10 minutes or so and i thought are they for being for real did i like i thought i did something wrong with my netflix i thought it was a black mirror type of thing where i chose the cringe joke ending or something like was it an after credit <laughs> scene that's how jarringly bad it all went episode the, seven is the one with the vips right yeah the vip one is yeah i was like Jesus. what what am i watching it's now like a now here's here's itself. the thing with the vips i will uh okay so we're gonna get mildly spoiler for those watching but i'm not for gonna spoil it up so to, for up to episode seven let's say since we're all on the yeah episode, so we're so they, they're that. they're hinted at throughout the show so this isn't really a spoiler you know that they're coming so the VIPs are a group of wealthy businessmen from around the world. So the show takes place in Korea and the VIPs are like one's American and one is like Aus Australian Russian. and one's like Russian and this and that. And a lot of people have a problem with their acting because they're like, oh, they're so exaggerated and so bad and so dumb. That's intentional because since it is a South Korean show, it's for the South Korean audience to like point out key phrases of what they're saying. So if I'm an American actor in a South Korean show and I go in and I'm like, ah, I bet a lot of money on this guy and my stocks are going up and this and that, that's kind of hard to translate some of the things. But if I go in there and I go, son of a bitch, you know exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah I get that, they were, they were literally they have, directed to act like that. But couldn't they just have South Korean um, subtitles on during those parts? And they, like probably we... did, they probably did, but the character translates better to an international audience if it's exaggerated and goofy, you know? <laughs> I get that, but it, it does impact, like, my opinion on the show. And I think that's right. still valid without going into... <laughs> I mean, it's it doesn't on you. Affect... No, it's not on me. It's on, it's on the show, but I can yes, understand their reasoning behind doing the things that they did. I still did not enjoy it as much because of those elements, and I think that's still valid. Yeah. I I think the show... I really like the show overall. I do think it has severe problems, though. I think there are three plot threads that just go nowhere and piss me off, and I really... I, I We would need spoilers to talk about them, though. Mm-hmm. I just... So, uh, I, okay. I, do we want to... Uh, Jackson, you can mute. We could talk about spoilers for a minute. Yeah, how would you how would you uh, call me back in? I I guess we could DM you. Okay, well I, I'm fine with that. But I, before before we continue, I just want to say like that that VIP episode. I genuinely thought I had turned on the really bad English dub section when they started talking, or I thought I thought they themselves were dubbed. Like I, I couldn't the tell. Dub is if... the best part. No, it's not. So I I loved it because I watched the entire thing dubbed. 
And oh it, was, it was a there shocking, funny contrast when, like, the the director, he's like, welcome, gentlemen. Thank you for showing up to the game. Please take a seat. And then the English actor is like, well, goddamn, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> it was so great. <laughs> <laughs> It was goofy, but uh, I can mute now if you guys want to. Well, you know, it's well, but Jackson, before you mute, tell me, would you ever mute your Raycon earbuds? Oh, hell no. I don't even exactly. think it's a function for that. None of us would. These incredibly comfortable and portable earbuds that you would wear anywhere in public, I, I would never think of muting them. I would listen to this podcast or maybe some music or God knows what else on my Raycon earbuds. I mean, I've got the pair of the electric blues. I call it out every time we talk about Raycons, and they are absolutely my favorite color, the one I recommend. Let me tell you something. They're going to have some sound profiles with these Raycons now. They're introducing some new sound profiles, and they're going to give you just the right amount of bass with the perfect balance for listening. You've got pure mode, which is going to be podcasting, instrumentals, things where you want to pick out just how it is, hear what it is. Now... Then you're going to hit balanced mode, which is going to give you good dips of highs and lows. That's for like rock, heavy metal, really hard hitting stuff where you kind of want to, you know, turn everything up. And then bass mode, hip hop, EDM, reggae. Bass is the, I mean, bass is the big fucking thing. It's pop music. EDM is still the big number one genre. So that's probably where you're going to want to sit comfy. Maybe get the big deeps of our voices. But you're also going to get a new awareness mode. So you can listen to your surroundings instead. Pick up some of what you're missing out on in life with your Raycons because the audio quality is so good that it's going to dominate everything you hear. And that's all in their new everyday earbuds. They start at half the price of other premium earbuds and they come with a 45 day happiness guarantee. Right now, official podcast listeners can get 15% off their Raycon order at myraycon.com slash op. That's spelled O-P. Buy Raycon.com slash OP to save 15% off. That's buy Raycon.com slash OP. All right. All right. So, Jackson, I'll, I'll, go, I'll, I'll DM you when you're when yeah. we're ready to go. <laughs> I just never hear a DM back from Andrew. Wait, wait, no, no, wait, <laughs> yeah. why are we, there's no reason to talk about spoilers or anything. We can oh, just but I want to because the end upsets That's me so enough. much. Yeah, well, then it's then it's only it. three of us participating, and then half the audience is probably. We don't, uh, we don't have to. Fine, we can we can move on. Oh come on! It just put us. Oh, Danny can put a spoiler warning on screen or something, or we can say right now spoilers are happening. So if you're listening to this and you want to see the rest of Squid Game or start it, then just cut here, and I'll put a timestamp in the description where you can cut back in. I, I just don't think it's a great topic at the moment. It, it's most also, people haven't finished it. Uh, I'm just, oh man. We can. We'll wait we till next, save it week. For next week. It's also yeah, not the we'll, biggest. Day. It's not a. It's not the deepest fucking story. It's like Andrew's gonna open his mouth and everybody's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I figured that's how it ends." Yeah. Well, we'll save it for <laughs> next week. It's okay. Yeah, I have a pretty. It's, I, it's like fine. I have a pretty strong theory of how it's going to go down and what's going to happen. Yeah, I think, people. Like, it's pretty clearly telegraphed. People can get their uh, their like anticipation going too, because it'll be will Jackson like the show or will he hate it? Find out next week. I, so I don't think what happened in episode seven is an or past that is enough for me to say that I dislike the show. Like I really enjoyed the first yeah. six episodes. I the first really six episodes are incredible. Um, I so this is like the minor spoiler, but. I won't say what happens. The game with the marbles yes, yeah. is is the best episode of the show and a fucking incredible 10 out of 10 episode. Yeah, yeah it was very um, emotional. Oh, my God. The marbles episode is the, the best part of the show. But unfortunately, I think every episode after that is just less and less in quality. That's that's until that's the what final makes the episode contrast, just kind of sucks. That's what makes the feeling of... Uh, like what the fuckedness so apparent to me is like it went from the best episode to like what am i watching what 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 is this suddenly like i'm so the the contrast and emotions felt during that is just like pretty jarring but kai hated oh, well. it in general it sounds like it sounds like you hated even the first six episodes i don't hate it i think it actually is kind of amusing if you just have it on on the side it's like Takeshi's Castle if they adapted it into like life action <laughs> TV, right? It is like incontinent, maybe, yeah. but like nothing else. And it's also 
it's like life action anime. I had to skip a few parts that made me just cringe too much because of uh, those two girls, especially in the Marble episode. Like, I just couldn't listen to them talking to each other in that goth way. Like, why did you talk to me? You look like you would talk to me. Okay, let's talk to each other then. It's just the most emotionless voice acting also. But I think it's an amusing show. I see why people enjoy it. So well, this yeah, is th- this is your chance for those out there listening. You got a week to finish it, so we'll probably it. spoil it next week. <laughs> Did you oh, guys? Oh, we weren't. We'll before forget I forget it. to bring this up, what do you guys think? Without looking this up, what do you think is the most popular Netflix original show of all time? Oh, that's a good question. I'm gonna say Extraction. Probably this. Okay. I'm gonna say Squid Game. Andrew Squid Game, Jackson Extraction. What did you say, Kaya? I feel like this is a trick question. Is it Squid Game yet, or is it about to be? I, I won't reveal anything. Just what do you think? Wait, you would... Okay, I'm going to reveal anything. No, no, I will. And I'm, only after he guesses. I'm going to guess it's Stranger Things right now, but Squid Game is overtaking it. Okay, so what the fuck is Extraction, Jackson? Is that a movie or a show? It's a movie. Did you say show? Yeah, show. Guess oh, a show. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, fuck. Uh, Just guess dark. BoJack Horseman so we can move on. I'm going to say Dark, the show that no one watched. Uh, good, what a guess. <laughs> I watched the, it. It's a good show. So the, the, actual, <laughs> the actual answer here is one that shocked me to my fucking core. Stranger Things isn't even in top five, mind you. The yeah, number like one... The number one show, original Netflix show, is called Bridgerton. Have any of you heard of it? No. No. Right now, I didn't think think so. Andrew, you've seen it because when you used to come over to my house, Tiana was watching it and there was always sex on. It's the show where they're just always fucking. Oh, that show. That's probably the reason, right? If it's got sex. Yeah, so it's, it's... a god awful show. Oh, yeah, this, I, looks, yeah, this, this is dreadful. this is a girl show. It's a show that takes place during like London fancy fucking debutantes, it's and a, they're it's all soft, constantly it's fucking soft each core other. Porn for like middle aged yeah. housewives. Yeah, yeah. It's it's Those a fucking are extremely gr- it's popular. a fucking teen girl and like older housewife show. No wonder it has so many viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah that doesn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah, but I've ne- I literally never heard of that show before, and it's not even close in second place. It has like. I think it had like 800 million watch hours. It had 80 something million viewers during its You'd season. You'd be surprised premiere. at how many unsatisfied housewives there are out there desperate for this kind it's, of content. It's a new soap opera. Yeah, it takes place in London in 1813 and the whole plot is everyone's having sex with everyone else, but no one knows. Yeah. It's attractive attractive people being charming and, and Yeah, it's and a stuff. fucking soap opera. It's yeah. the same for the second place as well. The second place is... um. Fuck, it's another one of those shows almost exactly like that. I really thought Big Mouth might have been in there. No, 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 it's not even close. Stranger Things, Witcher, Queen's Gambit, and Tiger King are the only four in the top 20 I've even heard of. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, this this goes to show that just because you don't hear about something constantly doesn't mean it isn't insanely popular. I guess so, because I don't know anyone that's ever talked about Bridgerton, and I've never seen it on Twitter, I've never seen it on YouTube or anywhere. It is literally exclusive to Instagram and Facebook mom groups, and it is beyond popular, apparently. That's a lot of of people, like, yeah. You you, you guys guys always used to say a similar thing about, like, how you were pretty self-aware in the sense that not everyone uses the internet like we do, or, like... Or in the same so clicks that, all, um, that we are. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm looking at the list here. The second place show is Lupin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. It's like yeah, the detective Yeah, which romance. I have heard of. I've heard of that, that one as well. It's it's a thief show. But this here, we can, as manly men, step up to the plate. Tied for third place with Lupin is The Witcher. I've never yeah. seen it. Which it, it actually just has pretty assume. bad reviews. <laughs> It was pretty The mediocre. Witcher is just like the first two now. Does he just go around soft porning women in the show? In what what show? The Witcher does Geralt just go around fucking women? Oh, is probably that, is it like the first two. Is uh, it geared towards middle aged moms or? It's kind of in the middle. There absolutely is things in there that's like you know I could definitely see a unsatisfied wife watching just for the sake of it. 
And then there's shit in there for like teenage boys. Like I think in episode two, he goes to like this garden where it's nothing but just naked women like watering plants. And he talks to a guy for like 10, 15 minutes. No, yeah, here's a um, here's here's a really like curveball one. So Bridgerton is in first place and it has an 89 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Damn. But in fifth place, tied with Stranger Things is a show called Sex Life which has a 23% on Rotten Tomatoes. Hmm. Never I, how, I, I don't either. understand how that is so high, if that's apparently so garbage. Yeah, All right, so I really, I'll tell you why. Let me read the bio to you. A suburban wife and mother takes a fantasy charge trip down memory lane that sets her uh, okay. present well, on that, a collision no, you can course stop with right there. I understand now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> a frustrated housewife does incredible things. All right, well, I yeah. get it. There, it, there yeah. it is. It's like... Fifty Shades of Grey, like that whole phenomenon for for Netflix, basically. Yeah, so here's, yeah, the fucking reviews are literally, there are R-rated sex scenes. Like, what? okay, yeah. Is that allowed on Netflix? I guess then it's after that the, yeah. Then after that, we have La Casa de Papel, which uh, is <laughs> another heist movie. So according to Netflix trends, the only thing that people like is fucking and stealing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's it. But it. It is absolutely a fantasy for unsatisfied wives. I was yeah. blown away because I thought for sure top five: Stranger Things, Queen's Gambit, <laughs> Witcher, Squid Game. Squid Game is on pace to be number one if it continues its trajectory. Really? Yeah, yeah. Not surprised. I, well, I but, think I think that trajectory might slow down quite a bit once it stops. Yeah. That that's going to be a very hard film to take number one. I think considering it's a foreign film as well. And there's just a lot of um, I don't know, man. Um, the same middle-aged people was, won't be watching it. What was that foreign film that just came out and like rocketed Parasite? in the box office? Not Parasite. It, Parasite. Yeah, par nuts. yeah, Parasite. Yeah, Parasite's huge, and it's a foreign film. And it's I'm a saying not Parasite because I thought you would have. I thought you would have immediately known it. <laughs> I forgot the title, but I remember yeah. the movie. But yeah, no, foreign films are gaining a lot of traction lately. People. Because of streaming, opening platforms to international content, more and more people are finding out about these films and shit and these shows. I think what yeah. we, what this should teach us is we need to cater more to that market of the middle-aged <laughs> housewife. We need to well, dedicate I've, I've, a few episodes. No, I'm I, sorry, I've, I've I completely destroyed I'm that selling, by going on the balding tangent already, so that's good. I, I think if I'm selling out to an audience to just make money and viewership, I'd sell out to the Chinese market. Like, that seems like the smartest man. <laughs> Well, that's a, much, that's a much harder market to get into, though. I, I think you'd have to like we'd have to have it translated. We'd have to make sure everything abides by whatever the rules and regulations yeah. they have. Whereas mm. here, the housewife market is obviously massive and we'd only have to like talk about true crime and and yeah. what, like why. It's, it's honestly, I know. Oh, yeah, a whole show of people talking and fucking. Yeah. <clears throat> OK, let's We're limiting make a ourselves. True crime podcast that is based on real events but the main character is just a sexy honk detective catching men like ted bundy right so and we're gonna have sex steamy oh, sex scenes. wait wait i've got an idea and this could potentially be a billion dollar netflix netflix show <laughs> a time traveling detective hunk <laughs> and he catches like all of those hot serial killers throughout time what? But that's only, cheating. He's so yeah. that's like if I traveled back in time and I was like, "Your Honor, it was Ted Bundy. He did the killing." I know. No, but he's, he's got to go back. No, he's got to go back and stop the crimes yeah, from no, even no, like being he, committed. Like he's sto yeah, he's stopping that. And maybe there's like even romance between Ted Bundy and our detective. Well, no, no Mike well, Mitchell. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, Ted Bundy is also like extremely hunky. But, All but the killers are like yes. super hot. But, and the, the show is about the detective, but he's not the main character. The main character is a 45-ish housewife who was <laughs> randomly stumbled into this one day. Oh, yeah. yes, she fell. It's like she was dusting the bookshelf and accidentally knocked down yeah. the book that opened it and fell face first yeah. into the time machine. Yeah, and, and, and so she, she landed and she falls in and the, the, hunk, the hunky detective, he's like, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Well, now I can't let you escape. You must be my sidekick. And she's <laughs> like thrust into a world of sexy adventure. Oh, my adventure. husband's not going to approve of this. I don't care what your husband oh. says. And he like shatters a wine glass. <laughs> and the hunky detective has to like regularly save her from equally hunky serial killers. And she's yeah. like, oh, my heart is torn. One of them is slightly hunkier, but and, the other one is a bad boy. And, but they every, don't have a monotonous every, relationship. So she is still yeah, allowed yeah. to fool around. 
And literally every single episode has a moment where she's cold or injured and the hunky protagonist goes, here, take my jacket. <laughs> and oh, it, it oh, not yeah. only puts her in the coat, but it shows off his huge pecs and sweltering you know, biceps. There's, there's also another cliche that I've noticed in like Korean dramas and stuff and other like these kinds of shows is there's also a competing love interest who's around her same age and is like really oh. friendly and nice and stuff. He's also extremely attractive, we, but she has power need, over him so she can reject him. That's no, what they like we, need, well. we need a Jacob to our Edward. Halfway through season two as a plot twist, we have like the, the new hunk and he's a bad boy because he shows up and he kills the serial killers. And she's like, how could you do that? And he's like, I just, I care about his victims so much. I he killed this one woman I fell in love with and I've never felt the same. It's and she's not like, enough oh my to god, just imprison so... him, Gertrude. We must yeah. eliminate him. And she's Gertrude. like, oh my god, he's so tortured. <laughs> maybe maybe I can save him. Maybe I can help him. He's a tortured oh my god. soul. Only she understands him, Andrew. And then yeah. he lights a cigarette and says, "Good day, Madame." As he hops and, back in the time machine. Nah. And and one day she's as like, he's smoking and it starts. Him. Him. <laughs> One day as he's smoking and it starts snowing outside, he goes, you look cold. Take my jacket. And it's the first time that he's ever shown compassion to her. Oh, but yeah. then he chokes her. And she Print gets so turned on. <laughs> Print it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, so someone said in chat, <laughs> this made me laugh. Didn't Jacob like fall in love with a baby at the end of <laughs> Twilight? Fuck yeah, he did. What was attractive about what? that? Yeah, did, uh, he, so, he's a father. He's a, no, he fell in love with, with it. Jacob. Like he was, he imprinted on their baby. Yeah. yeah, that wasn't fatherly instinct. Like he wanted to actually, like he's getting in early. He's making a reservation. <laughs> yeah, that's so gross. Did you guys not know about that? <laughs> no, I, I don't no, even know what I they're talking about. The Is this a movie? Man, yeah, are we talking so, about Twilight? Yeah, Twilight. Yeah. So the oh, character okay. Jacob. Um, it falls in love with the main character, Bell, Bella, I think it was. And then, she, but she chooses someone else has, has a baby with him. And then Jacob instead moves on to the baby, like falls in love with the baby instead. And it's really weird. It's because he's a werewolf. He imprinted on her. He, he couldn't control it. Uh. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Are you saying that Twilight okay. Lord doesn't make any sense? That Come on, Jackson. It makes sense to Stephanie Meyer, the writer, but in a really weird yeah. way. Well, <laughs> like it makes a lot of sense. Way. It, it makes a lot of sense that Jacob, being a werewolf, would often need to shave, and he would oh, use yeah. Harry's razor. Mm, that does make oh sense. Oh my god, Kaya, Kaya with guess. the aptly timed uh, "Y'all ready for what is that song called? Y'all ready for uh, this? Did it, did it, did it, did it, get did ready, it, yeah." Yeah, Kai with the aptly time that for Harry's because it just hypes me up so fucking bad to talk about their incredible razors. Look, are we all heading back into the office this time of year? Are we all maybe getting back into school? Are we starting to figure things out? Well, you're going to want that fresh, clean, all business look, aren't you? I mean, have you looked mm -hmm. into the mirror lately? Man, that, that beard that you're starting to grow. I don't know. Maybe it's time to get rid of it. Now, not me. Not the other official boys. We love our beards, but you can always trim that neck. You can always clean up those cheeks. You can, you always, can always shave that get, head. No! Always shave that head for Jackson. Yeah. No. It, the brazers can shave both heads and beards, depending on which official boy you are. <laughs> so what you're going to need in that moment is a high quality, long lasting blade with a durable weighted handle that'll make a close, comfortable shave every single time. Refills on these blades are going to start as low as $2. And you can get the starter set, which is going to have a five-blade razor. It's going to have that weighted handle. But it's also going to have foaming shave gel with aloe and a travel cover. $13 value, all for just $3. Harry's also has a ton of different products as well for your body care and your face so check out the website and just peruse the section. Maybe you've already got some of their razors, which you probably do because you're a smart shopper. Check out their shaving creams and gels and all sorts of other shit. They make tons of products. There has never been a better time to try Harry's. Go to harrys.com slash official spelled H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com slash official to get the starter set for only three dollars there's a 100 percent satisfaction guarantee so there's nothing to lose go to harrys.com slash official right now to get this special offer h-a-r-r-y-s sweet 
Thank you, Harry. What? Mm-hmm. Uh, did you say wait? Me? Yeah, I thought you said wait. Never mind. No, I said thank you. Uh, I thought you said wait. Anyway, I'm not waiting to read the list of this Netflix list. Number seven is Tiger King, which I'm not surprised by at all. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that show, because mm. of, like, literally thanks to uh, quarantine and the beginning of COVID, that came at the perfect time. Yeah. But can, uh, can, then, can we go back? Wait, Andrew, can we go back yeah, go briefly? So the yeah. logic from that we've learned from this, the, the lesson that we can take away from this is that something can still be incredibly popular without having a vocal audience. But I also think yes. that something like Sex Life or whatever the first show was, Bridgerton, still has people in our own age bracket that watch watch that kind of stuff a lot. Uh, I think there's a there's a market of for those shows, women around like, in their twenties or even teens that still watch that watch that stuff and love watching. Well, let's just say it. what everyone is thinking. Let's just say what literally everyone listening is thinking. Why do women have such bad taste? <laughs> well, that's oh, mm. that's probably what everyone was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just speaking up for the common man, you know, the common I, man. I, what I don't understand is why they don't demand better quality. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the shows are really lazy. So t I've seen these from Tiana. She watches anything, literally anything and everything. Every CW show ever made, every shitty Netflix original ever printed. I've seen them because she, she watches them. They are all so bad. Like they don't even try. I don't know why they wouldn't want oh. them to be better. Speaking of CW shows, um, I watched a few episodes of Riverdale. Hey, nice. Welcome no. I, I, I see now why you guys were obsessed. It's it's pretty incredible. <laughs> I get it now. It's, Isn't yeah. it so awesome where they're all supposed to be like, what? how old are you in high school? Like, like 17, I guess, but they're all played by like these super sexy 30 year old models. Well, and right uh, out in the first episode, they have a dance off. Um, <laughs> yeah. Fuck, it's been a while. What were, were their names? There was Veronica and... Archie, it's such Veronica. A weird, it's such a weird uh, concept. Well, well, what I, I I skipped around and I tried to find like interesting, crazy episodes. So I kind of jumped in the middle of some seasons, just fucking around. And the one that really got me good was the episode where all the women have seizures for no reason, and they have them as a group. And it just ends on a cliffhanger. And then the next episode, they don't even acknowledge it, and they just move on, <laughs> and they never talk about it again. I don't think I saw much. Did you? Yeah, there's an episode where that. all the girls in the school, they have seizures and they had convul mm -hmm. convulse randomly. And it Wait, gets worse episode? when they're in groups. Uh, hang on, let me look it up. Uh, sorry, no, no, I meant which season. Is this a newer one? That's season three. Do you think this is the same audience that also watches Bridgerton? Like, do you uh, think... No. So Riverdale is absolutely no. for teenage girls. Bridgerton is for middle-aged women. But I still think that middle-aged women have enough time on their hands and are horny enough that they do still... Uh, consume content like that i mean i'm sure some of them do but bridgerton is absolutely made for that audience of middle-aged women i think there's a lot of overlap i think even uh, like the same audience that watches riverdale would watch bridgerton nope like i don't the, think so well just think about it the, no the characters are I completely watch riverdale. different yeah well the characters are so different like they're having high school problems like damn i might not get asked to the dance or archie's so good looking he's gonna fuck 15 women that aren't me Whereas in Bridgerton, it's, ah, my political opponent is being mean. I'm going to fuck him. No, wait, maybe, okay, that's not how it is. Maybe it's, it's like a like, midlife crisis. Wait, wait, maybe it's like a midlife oh, crisis thing for women, though. They want to go back and well, imagine high Riverdale, school is better for them. So they, to be fair, though, types. Riverdale is like off the rails, nonsensical bullshit. Like there's an episode where Archie starts a fight club in prison. Like he was really not to trying to be a high school drama prison. after a certain point. <laughs> then they know? have to break him out of prison and he starts yeah. like a cartel and then Jughead yeah. starts like a biker gang and then and Veronica, Veronica starts, and Veronica starts, starts a like a fucking easy. she starts a car wash to try to like overthrow her dad's <laughs> company and like like Riverdale after a, certain, a very quick point does not try to be a high school drama. It tries yeah, to be that, a, that was a, a what high the school fuck is issues. happening. There's an episode where Veronica chases down a cult leader and the way he tries to escape is by putting himself in a rocket he made on the roof of a building. <laughs> like, like Riverdale does not try to be a high school drama after like a half a season. It just does whatever it wants. Same with like Glee, right? Do you guys remember Glee? That was another one. There's uh, uh, Buffy. I think the, so. 
Buffy. As oh, well yeah, as the Buffy. Ones. Tia, mm-hmm. Tiana watched Buffy. That's a fucking horrible show. Jesus Christ. Wasn't Buffy the, all like a awful. nerd trap? That, that's an old one, too. No, Buffy no, no, was, that, was hugely trap. popular no, in I'm its not day. Talking, I'm not talking about old Buffy. Yeah, he means Netflix Buffy. Buffy. Yeah. Oh, I don't know oh. Netflix Buffy. I'm talking the original. Me neither. Yeah, because yeah, the I, original I Buffy the, was a really big show in its time. No, yeah. Net, Netflix Buffy is so fucking dumb. It, like, the, the things she watches blow me away, to be honest. And she's... She doesn't, like, defend them, like, wholeheartedly or anything. She just has it on because it's noise. But my god, there absolutely are people that watch that shit, and it absolutely blows my mind. There's one about Roswell, New Mexico aliens. And it's like a romance, <laughs> like, in the middle of UFOs crashing. With the it's, aliens? I don't... Well, actually, yeah, I know one of them's, like, an alien. <laughs> What's that called? It's called Roswell. <laughs> oh, man, this is good. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and then there was one she was watching a while ago. I think it's on break. It was uh, about like witches or something. And then like one of the witches was a warlock and the guy died and then created a clone of himself. And then his clone had a twin. So there was like a dead version, a clone version and a twin brother version. It was so stupid. Oh, my can fucking I, God. Can I, re- how, can I re- wait? How is she watching this reboot, Charlie? It's not out yet. What? The Buffy reboot. What are you talking no, about? Definitely, it? it's been, yeah, it's been out years. for a while. Yeah, it's just new seasons. Oh, did no one ever talk about it then? Because I'm googling like crazy and I can't find anything about it. No, it, it, was, it was pretty popular. Is it called? Is it called Buffy? Yeah. Yeah. What's on. the actual title? Let me see. I'm uh, finding nothing about it. It's all linking me back to the original show. It was like a spiritual successor of the old. No, 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 no. It was a. Di- it was literally a direct, uh, direct Buffy. What the fuck is it called? Yeah, yeah. Wait, I can't find it either. Yeah, yeah. there's, there's no way we exist? both. There, there's is no way called? that we both just. And and, this and the out. fucking newest article no, about it is from last month, and it says a sequel is coming. No, no, no. She Tiana watches it. Oh, Sabrina, yeah. Sabrina. Sabrina, Sabrina. Oh, right. Sabrina. Oh. Chilling okay. Adventures of Sabrina. Yeah, Sabrina. Sabrina the teenage. Uh, thank teenage you. Witch, I was yeah. so confused. Which is also an old, like it's a yeah. sequel yeah, to Sabrina the, the Teenage Witch was an old. Com- but but they're different yeah. shows though. Sabrina was yeah. an old comedy, whereas Buffy yeah. was an old action show. Yeah, no, yeah, no it's, yeah. well, the the new Sabrina is not a comedy. It's a more uh, of a romance, and it's really stupid. I, I remember one of the episodes was, uh, I I don't Sabrina's friend. Her dad is the devil, and she or yeah. <laughs> or something like that, and she it's decides to it. hold a boxing match in order to like take it to her dad. Like, watch this, dad! I'm hosting a boxing match. <laughs> so they have a boxing match in hell, and then for <laughs> some reason, awesome. two like evil guitarists escape into the real world playing evil music. So they have to like banish <laughs> the guitarist back to hell or some shit. This sounds like it was written in 1950. It's, ah, that evil rock and roll. It it honestly feels like it. It's so it's so unbelievably good. Well, they, they, all of these shows are absolutely made by people that are in the, like their fifties and sixties. Oh no doubt. Well, you know you know what else it is too. It's people trying to stretch a budget. So if you're yeah. making the Sabrina show and you want to have a show and be like, whoa, they're gonna fight the devil. Like idealistically, you'd like, all right, Sabrina goes into hell and they like throw magic spells at each other and there's like demons and shit. It's like, but that's expensive and time consuming. How about we just have a boxing match where like one guy's wearing a devil costume? Yeah, that'll solve it. Well, so it's also just because the main audience that is watching or consuming this media does not care how. Yeah, good that, it is. that's also part of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these shows are made to make money. Like, the vast majority of these shows, shows are up. purely, especially when they're reboots like this, it's purely take a recognizable thing and then make money out of it. So there's no soul in directing it, you know? They don't give a fuck. All, all shows are made for money. Well, uh, yes, to a degree. But there's a, degree, a difference between, like, a director's vision or, like, a actual, like, idea as opposed to, oh, let's bring back Riverdale. And just do whatever we want. Like Riverdale, by the time you get to season two, is no longer an Archie show. It has nothing to do with the original comics in any way. It's just a whatever the fuck we want show featuring Archie characters. You know? Wouldn't have mattered if it was called Riverdale. I would take that show. Which makes people horny. It does its job. (laughs) 
It does. It does do its job. Uh, you're, it you're does its job. Not it's, wrong. It makes money in viewership, but you know, I think there's a clear difference between like movie or show made out of idea and passion versus movie and show made to make movie and show for money and viewership. And Realistically, shit. though, is there because it has a massive audience and the audience is engaged and they like it a lot, so enjoyment is up. So I, I, I don't see the negative. I no think it depends. It doesn't have to no, be a negative, yeah. Jackson, but you you know, you of all people know for a fact that the only reason anyone makes Star Wars movies is bit for the money. It's I not mean, because any director walked into the board of directors to convince them of his vision. It's just yeah. for money. But let me well, let me actually, put it this I, way, Jackson. I, I, I fully believe that George Lucas did enjoy his vision. At least let for me the let me put it this way, movies. Jackson. When you yeah. have a movie like Parasite, let's say someone says it's bad. People would go, oh, wow, really? From that guy who made like the movie he wanted and it was like really interesting. It was bad. That sucks. But at the same time, if you have a new like Marvel Cinematic Universe movie and someone says it sucks, everyone would be like, oh, yep. Makes sense. OK. Mm, yeah, I, I disagree with that. I think a lot of people would be even more hurt if a, if the new Marvel movie was. Well, how many movie bad? Marvel movies have come out that were bad? There's a good handful of them. Yeah. And people get upset about that a lot we see we see that were, were people really that mad that ant-man and the wasp was bad probably more well, so than if parasite was bad yeah a lot of people don't think it's bad that's true <laughs> I feel all i'm saying is them, is it's just in perception you know there's a different feel to when a movie is made from an idea versus when a movie is made to make money you know Yeah, yeah, no, I agree that's, with that. That's I all. Just, that's my only point. I, and all yeah. I'm saying is we need to capitalize on this market of unhappy wives. <laughs> that's my yeah. point. Well, speaking Let's of... Uh, go ahead, Kyle. I was going to say, please greenlight us, Netflix. I know we talk <laughs> shit about you endlessly for years and years and years, but time-traveling hunk detective, it'll mm -hmm. be like Doctor Who, but good. And he'll solve ah, crimes and, and rescue hot. the women. And, and women do love Doctor and Who, hot. so that's, oh, that's... We could also push boundaries. As far as I know, you never see Dick on Netflix originals. I don't <laughs> think Bridgerton had Wiener. We could have the first Wiener shot in all of, like, sad mom content. Fuck yeah. Even though that's not what they want. They don't want to see his dick. No, nah, women don't care about dick. They care about like abs and Feels. wheeling penis lines and no. shoulders. Here's what we do: we tease his dick for like eight seasons, just like <laughs> you just see the shadow and in the, the background. The series <laughs> finale just is a huge letdown. It's like a micro penis. So they make a change.org <laughs> petition. Yeah, to have we, us reshoot the porn with a big dick guy. We, oh, sorry, the we, show. We, we make that part of the mystery. So he's in like silhouette and you see like a big long thing between his legs. And then there's another scene where he unzips his pants and you hear a loud thud. And then they finally reveal the mystery. And it's like <laughs> during that scene, he dropped the candelabra. And during the shadow scene, he's holding one of his golf clubs. And it's like, you all thought he had a big dick, but he doesn't. And that's the twist. That's a pretty good idea. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Green light it. Anyway, yeah, the... Uh, we the make final fun of three, Netflix, but, but this uh, we don't make fun of their checkbook. That they'll they'll fund anything. Yeah, nice. which I mean, I really appreciate. Well. I'd rather they make more <laughs> stuff and some of it's good and rest of it's shit than them be really picky and selective. Yeah, I'm fine with it. It's got its place. Yeah. Like, it, it, look, it's produced. Uh, what, what's that movie we're talking about? Squid Game. Like, mm -hmm. it's produced a lot of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with it. They I'm, I'm like... fine with the tactic of throwing shit at the wall. Yeah. Some of it sticks. Speaking of, I mean, I'm going to go after we're down here. I'm going to go fuck off and watch Dave Chappelle's new special that just came out today, apparently. Oh, so, really? Uh, I didn't hear yeah, a single thing about that. stuff on there. Me neither. Came out of the fucking blue. But yeah, that's well, my plan for tonight. Nice. Right, you guys want to wrap? <laughs> yeah, apparently you did. Yeah. So the uh, final three shows on this top 10 list are Queen's Gambit, as expected. And then two I have never heard of, Sweet Tooth? Anyone? Yeah. Nope. It, it is a fantasy adventure about a half-human, half-deer. What the fuck? This looks awful. It's a, it's a post-apocalyptic fantasy adventure, and it actually looks pretty cool. What? The, the main poster looks weird. Well, I, I think yeah. it looks 
Yeah, I think it looks interesting. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck this is. This looks this looks really weird. It looks yeah, like it, some uh, look some fucking poster. like <laughs> the main the main post is got a sign in the background that says "No hybrids" <laughs> with a man looking very angry at Dear Boy. Oh. It looks like some like Mad Max, but in the woods. Let's get this. Oh neat. wait, it, it it was a DC comic series. Oh uh, yeah, it was a comic. Okay. Weird. Cool. Right, what's number ten? And then number ten is Emily in Paris. Nice. Yeah. Which What's Emily looks doing like over the there, most huh? boring show ever made. She's fucking noble Parisians, probably. After landing her dream job in Paris, yeah, Chicago go. marketing exec Emily Cooper embraces her adventurous new life while juggling work, friends, and romance. It, it's yeah, like the most generic is. plot I've ever heard of in my yeah, life. Yeah. Oh my god! I barely and yet it's number ten on sentence. Netflix. Well, here this 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 little bio will um will make you happier. Uh, Kaya. After a decade away from home, Liz Ortega returns to her native Roswell to care for her ailing father. When she arrives, she reconnects with her high school crush, Max Evans, who is now a police officer. Their chemistry is electric, but Liz soon learns something shocking. Max and his siblings are aliens <laughs> who have kept their ability secret their entire lives. I you're actually want to watch this now. <laughs> you're reading Roswell, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds cool. <laughs> it does sound cool. I'm excited. Trust me, it's a lot <laughs> less cool than it makes it sound. Wait, what the fuck? It it was a, it was another one of those that has a series back in the nineties, like Buffy yeah. or whatever. Buffy. And Nothing the, is original anymore, anymore, Jackson. It's all a remake. It all goes back to something from the eighties or nineties. That's to how be it fair, works. To be fair, though, it wasn't really the most original premise in the first place. Like Roswell was always. Oh yeah, name ten, 10 other shows about aliens. Go. Uh, F Futurama. There you go. And that's got a Roswell episode, baby. Oh okay. shit! All right, he's we got, got one. You. you got you. Can you name right. nine more? No. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for listening to this week's episode. <laughs> uh, support us on Patreon to fund my um, uh, boldness uh, cure stuff. Cure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We got bonus episodes over there. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, Bye, everyone. Thank Bye. you. Bye, everyone.